Girl, I just can't get my life right. Oh, God. been a minute but it actually hasn't it's just been a minute since i spoke to y'all at home let me pull y'all in some because y'all are getting all types of views and this my mouth's a little weird but hey y'all i'm back and um better than ever how y'all doing today welcome to today's vlog because i have not vlogged at all this week y'all know well, hopefully y'all are doing well. We're getting close to Christmas. Today is December. What's the date? I think it's 20th or something. 20th. Oh, look at me. It's December 20th. And, <clears throat> you know, we just got back. We got back from our trip on Monday. And today is the, is Tuesday. The next Tuesday so it was it monday we got back what did we get back we got back and girl i feel like it's been a whirlwind like everything happened and nothing happened at the same time <laughs> girl i don't know what's going when our trip as you saw if you watched the last vlog it was great i enjoyed it it was oh it was oh it was really short it was only two nights in three days i think and we really enjoyed it oh we had so much fun it was nice to be in the heat orlando was beautiful and it was just nice i love spending time with my husband and when i came back home i had a literal do y'all get this i had a vacation crash where i was like sad <laughs> sad to be back sad to um i don't even like any of these angles I was sad to be back in Atlanta. I was sad to get back to working. Um, so I took a beat. I took a second. No, actually, I think I filmed a video. See, I can't remember. I just feel like I've been out of my body. Okay, well, let me backtrack. So before we went to Orlando, remember I told y'all I had that terrible stomach ache. There was other things going on that had me highly, highly stressed. And when I get stressed, I get stomach aches but I, I have been stressed for so long the stomach aches were like constant like they were non-stop and it got to a point where it was like painful so I am going to the gastro 
enterologist. I'm still looking for one that I would like to go to, but I'm doing other doctor's appointments before then to take care of that. But so I'm going to I'm going to physically get checked. But as soon as we got to Orlando, like the plane made me stressed out, so it, it kind of kept going. Um, but as soon as we got to Orlando and relaxed in the room, my stomach ache disappeared. Disappeared. It was gone. Like I could eat foods. Like it still was a little bit like I was being cautious, so I didn't eat certain things, like you know, the things that make my stomach hurt. But my stomach ache went away. <laughs> it went away. And it hasn't been back since. I haven't had a stomach ache. Now I had like a you know, a little gas, a little here and a little there. I haven't really been working like that. Um, my schedule has been cleared. My schedule has been cleared. Who I don't like. <laughs> Y'all feel like I be coming over here and it look like I can't drive. My schedule has been cleared and I have felt so much better. And I'm taking time to reevaluate how my relationship to work. I'm trying to detach from the person that I was when it came to work. I love doing wig reviews and all that type of stuff. I've said this many, many times, but it is extremely challenging. It's really, really challenging to do wig reviews and it takes a lot of time. And the way I work, like my stomach's starting to hurt now talking about it. So I'm trying to learn how to breathe and deal with anxiety because although I have not been diagnosed with an anxiety disorder, baby, I got all the signs from Rudy to Tuta. The way I've been doing things all of my life since I was a child is not working. I cannot windmill the air and just suck it up and fight through how I'm feeling anymore. I just need rest. That's just what it is. I need rest. So I've been resting, girl. I've been watching the hills, sitting on a couch, eating, staying in bed really late, not getting up, working, doing nothing, eating foods that I enjoy. All I'm saying is that I'm trying to be better. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. I'm getting better and I hope it reflects on my channel because I just need a reset. Going into the new year, we not, what I'm not doing, Placing my body's needs on the back burner. Back burner. I am prior. I will be, and I am prioritizing my body's needs and its health. And I'm not gonna push, push, push. And I ain't, I ain't trying to be no tizzy, sizzy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god, my nose is like. I don't know, but I need to get back in the sun. I know that. Hold on, let me take this. Off. Anyways, I am headed into my the mailbox place to pick up some wigs or well, a wig and then i'm gonna go and pick up my lentils go back home eat that and that's it it's cold out here y'all i'm sick of it i love to complain child it's a pastime can that be a pastime i think so me and this trunk we not getting along child cold oh it's cold baby it is cold okay so i'll see y'all at i'm just gonna run by target i'm not trying to be okay so i am back home i don't know what's going on y'all be cool my throat just feels really tight i feel like my throat chakra as the girls will say is something up is there something going on I don't know what's happening. But right now I'm about to make some. <laughs> I haven't had lunch yet. I spent so much time. My husband would be so upset. Is my oven dirty? I think so. Whatever. I'm gonna make some brown rice and some lentils. So I think I'm gonna make instant brown rice. How do you make this? How do you make instant brown rice? Oh, I should have got butter. I don't do instant. I always do like the real rice. I guess you would say it's real. I don't do instant. How much of this do you use? Two servings, one cup, and one cup of rice. I think this is a cup. Let's see, is this a cup? Cup. Two cups of water. Two cups. Of, oh, it's a one one. Okay. Two cups of water, two cups of rice.
Not me blocking the camera. Every time I leave the house, it's so overstimulating for me. I don't even know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna make my lentils. Usually I get a whole bunch of cans of these um, Annie's uh, vegan lentils. They're so good. No tomatoes, nothing in it that makes my stomach hurt. There's carrots, but the carrots are cooked. So this is like my favorite lunch. And I don't think anybody would like it but me. This is a big can, but the girls, well, no, obviously people bought it, so people like it. I really want to get like cuter pants because I want to be that girl, but I'm just not her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so let's pour the lentils in there. Come on, canned food. Wait till that water heats up. Once that water heats up, then I can make the rice that I have one more thing to cook. I actually need to just make a whole bunch of this stuff. Are y'all like me? When I get home, I don't put nothing up. My husband be like, put your shoes up, girl. <laughs> I don't put up my shoes. Oh, it's boiling. She put, probably put some salt in there. ADD on full display, baby. Okay. Said so bring to a boil. I definitely should have switched pants. Wait, I don't need reading directions on instant rice. I never make instant rice. I make like real rice. <laughs> that made me feel better about myself. Girl, I just can't get my life right. Oh God. Y'all, I'm like not okay. <laughs> ah, this is hot. Why am I putting my hand right over it? I don't know. I'm a grown woman. I'm just hungry. I shouldn't have done this hungry. That's what it is. That I forgot to get my vegetable broth. I was so consumed. I do that to myself. Put some garlic powder in that rice? Yes. I wish I had some onion powder. That would've been good. But usually I would do that. And it says stir it in, return to a boil. Oh, this needs to go down. And I have one more thing to cook. Now is not the time to be cooking, friend. I know. And baby, I've been supposed to produce this. Oh my God, y'all. This is me in like real life. I need to like take a second because what's happening? Do y'all see how my ADD is doing me right now? Put those lentils back there. I have one more thing to cook. What is happening? What's happening? This is like realistic. This is how I be acting by myself. Oh, Y'all don't even understand. Was I supposed to cover this? Take my Beyond Burger and I mash those up and then I have my little meats. And then that's it. I really need to get my life together though because like right now my life is in shambles. Like I'm obviously in shambles. Like somebody, Somebody, anybody, you know? Somebody, anybody. Hopefully that'll be done in five minutes because I'm so hungry. What time is it? And I get nothing from uh, Target, nothing interesting except for some chips, so. What did I even pick up my phone for? Oh, it's 7.35. And then we're done. So all of this should be done in a few minutes but I do this usually I cook my lentils every time I'm probably gonna have tuna tomorrow because I'm having too much rice you're not supposed to have too much rice so yeah my battery's about to die pray for me because I ain't got no sense right now I'm just gonna take a second I need to take these glasses off because I have a headache and I have on my winter uniform right now girl this champion sweatsuit, I love it. It's really warm. It's so cold out, like it's ridiculous. Anyways, I have text messages to respond to. Like I just really, I don't know. Turn this down. Do cook them on high and let them stick a little bit so I can get that thickness. I don't like runny lentils. I like it real thick and I put um agave 
agave um, nectar, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I typically would do something spicy, but I'm off the spicy kick because my stomach is just not, you know what I'm saying? The rice is done. Oh my God. Camera's about to die. But look, I did it. I need to get some cuter pots because this is not. And clean my teapot. I'm looking like Robin off of Real House Pies of Potomac. I need to just take a second because I was overstimulated while I was out. And because I was overstimulated, I can't focus. So I'm gonna take a second, zen out, eat, and then I can be back in my homeostasis. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's see you in a second. Why am I? I'm watching Gina Janine. Her vlogmas number 20. In the meantime, I am having my lentils and Beyond Me crumbles. It's all brown, girl. It's giving very much uh, neutrals food, but I'm so hungry and it is so good. Shout out to the cabinets. Y'all know I be having issues. I really do be having issues. Like why? The ADD is in full effect. I love it. It's really good. My food never looked appetizing. I need to put some like parsley or something. Some green on top. I, after this, I need to hang up my wig. My amazing husband wash and condition my wig. He is, I don't think I can ever describe to you how amazing my husband is. Like that man, oh, I don't even wanna cry. My man, my man, my man, my man. Anyways, let me get up off this camera. Hungry, oh my God. I'm not trying to be crying today though. Y'all know my period's coming. I, I've set a few other things like- Ooh, I just finished eating. And it's that time of the month. It's about to, it's about to be that time. So I ate half a bag of chips. They're chickpea chips though. I will show you where they are, but they're all the way in the cabinet. Did I show y'all already? They're hippies, like vegan cheddar chickpea chips, girl. They taste like cardboard with a hint of cheese yeah now i need to go ahead and dry out this wig that my amazing husband set up for me he sits it off to the side and i just need to hang it in the bathroom y'all looks like oh girl this is wet 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 Ooh, look at her i do need to brush her out but i usually like to brush out my wigs once they're wet and this is like partially dry. So I'll have to do that once I um, apply the wig tomorrow. It took too long for me to come back home. So this is what the wig looks like wet. Ah, I gotta take that dress back. This is like a wig hanger. I gotta hang this up here. I gotta start dinner. I haven't taken off the wig. You know what I did? I sat down and I played this game that I'm addicted to, that I used to be addicted to years ago. What is this called? And I'm watching Evelyn of the Internet. Love Evelyn of the Internet. If you don't watch her, you talk about joy on a screen. That's my girl. Anyways, it's kind of like a big old Tamagotchi. Like you take care of your whole town. Like you grow crops, you know, all that cutesy stuff oh now that i'm back on it i can't even pay attention like what is going on but you like i have to send stuff on my plane i gotta get some tortilla chips to the girlies i got 49 minutes to pack some more tortilla chips so cute okay let me get off of here because i've been supposed to have made dinner <laughs> and i only got one minute on this clock and then i gotta take a shower before my husband gets home and usually my husband gets home at 9.30 and it is 9.15. Yeah, and I need to, I'm like, my ADD is really getting on my nerves today. But it is what it is. Let me grab these veggies. Pop these in the oven. gonna have this asparagus. Is he gonna want asparagus? I 
at this point, I need to change out my memory card because what am I doing? I'll be out of the baby stir fry. I'm not even that hungry. So, think that we didn't have veggies. Oh my God. Well, I'm just gonna put these veggies on here and call it a freaking day. Maybe he has enough. I wonder if he's gonna want. I feel like this is only enough for. He'd be hungry after the gym. Oh, oh girl, it's looking real PC. I feel like he's gonna have to have his asparagus. I had to get stitches on my hand. We'll talk about that another day. I actually need to clean my stitches. A little olive oil. We try to use, we try not to use like seasoning salt because it's not, And then I pop his potatoes in there and then I need to get onion powder. I love onion powder. Ow, I keep hitting my stitch. Bam. Now just pop this in the oven. Go. And then I'm gonna grab his potatoes. Then we're done. I'm gonna throw his potatoes in. Yes, these are pre-made, he loves these. But sometimes um, I'll boil potatoes and then chop them up and then put them in the oven. But I didn't cool them right last time, so they're a little bit soft. So he prefers these for now until we boil them back. So I'll give him some of the pre-sliced rosemary potatoes. Or he can have some of the rice I just made. I make really good rice. He only eats like four or five of these, so. Five of them on there. Okay. Mm. Took my shower. I still need to wash my face. I wash my face. I don't wash it in the shower for a couple of reasons. Like for sanitary, like I'm really weird about touching my face. But then also, because I have these lashes on, even though they're falling off, I like to like wash it separately so they don't get soaked and like weighed down. So I will wash it either before I get in the shower or afterwards. So I still have to wash my face and get these eyebrows off. But I put on my perfume. I smell like lavender, 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 but like not disturbing lavender, Put like light lavender with a mix of vanilla. I use lavender soap, Dr. Bronner's lavender soap, lavender lotion, lavender deodorant. <laughs> Is that lavender? And the Jo Malone lavender perfume. Lavender is just good for calming and sleep. So I love to wear the perfume when I'm going to sleep because it's just relaxing and soothing. So, hey y'all, it's the end of this vlog. I'm sorry, it was all over the place because I was all over the place. It's just what it is. Where's my ring? I left it in the bathroom. Anyways, I wanted to let you all know. Well, first I wanted to thank you for watching. This is still Vlogmas, so we're still doing wig giveaways. I will be announcing the wig giveaway person in the description box down below. I would have already reached out to them, so. You know the announcement will be there um check the description box and check your instagram dms because that's where i'll be reaching out to you also we got a new wig that will be given away this is a chris beauty hair wig yes <laughs> chris beauty hair friend oh so the last wig was a unice hair v part wig and this one is a chris beauty hair wig the battery is about to die i'm so sick of this so this is a cornrow Wig. let me actually show you this is all the stuff you get wig cap all the stuff you get in the packaging i need to hurry up because i'm not trying to change up this battery this is a 24 inch straight wig it comes with cornrows it has a little bit of a darker lace so if you watch my wig review it should be similar to that one but this is what it i'm not trying to open it but this is the braids that are on there you can take them out straighten the hair all that type of stuff so I'll go ahead and put
put this in the box. I want to say thank you to y'all again. If you want to enter the giveaway, please leave a comment down below. Leave your Instagram name and you'll be entered into the giveaway. That's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll be announcing the giveaway winner next vlog. So good luck to everybody. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So cute.